Here's my A3 sketchbook journeys in Brang. I like to start off any project with some linear drawings as I feel it's a really good way of observing objects. I then go on to jumping straight into some gouache paintings on the next page and really picked out the colours uh, within my collection. I then observed the beach rope within my collection and used a range of mediums to create this 3D effect. I've always been interested in shape and I feel collage is always a good place to start. Here I kind of went a bit mad with the gouache and poskas. I really wanted to get um, a burst of colour here um, and then I visualised it on ceramics quite early on and kind of wanted to see what it looked like on some pots. Um, here I'd done some rubbings of one of my objects and drew some Indian ink on here as well uh, with more um, Posca edits. And here is another one of my objects, um, kind of looking at it in a half drop repeat and this was a potential lino design um, with the grid pattern behind. Uh, this was a shadow drawing that I used with one of the plastic objects I thought that made quite a nice composition and there's another one of them. Here then um, is more collage work. Um, I really like the effect of the black Indian ink and that block of black is very contrasting um, effect and here is more collage looking at more abstract shapes of my collection and here um, is one of the designs and you can see there um, some pot visualization I really enjoy um, including all bits of the paper that I cut out um, I think it makes the composition quite strong, um, kind of that block of colour um, with the additional bits on top. They, these are some visuals, drawn visuals. On this page um, I cut out some pot shapes out of the actual page and I hung some shapes onto it. Uh, I didn't want to stick it completely down because I quite like that 3D effect. I wanted to give Lino a go um, so I cut out a little pot stamp and see what that looked like. This is another Lino stamp that I cut out and it's in a half drop repeat here. Here I decided to um, cut some shapes on top of a failed lino attempt and I've repeated that cut out as a repeat. Here are more abstract um, mini visuals and here I decided to be a bit more free with a brush um, as it's the same effect as the glaze has on the ceramics. On this page I cut out some cups and uh, did some collage in those shapes and if you flip onto the other page um, it looks like a mood board layout um, planning on um, building my own mood boards. I then finished my sketchbook with a hand rendered mood board.